Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be making this plant in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.91, but you can use anything that supports EV. So from Blender 2.8 up until 3.1, whatever you want to do. So let's get into it. A new Blender page, file, whatever. We're going to delete the default cube as is tra tradition. Shift A, add a new thing. We're going to go plane. Let's just open up our UV editor as well. Alright. Top view, 7. And something like that. Cool. We're going to add a texture to it. So, click here image texture open and I downloaded this little guy over here we're going to viewport shading now this looks a bit bugged edit mode okay so you in here smart UV project let's rotate this a bit Ah, take this off repeat. We get something like this. That'll be fine for now. And now to get this thing transparent, we're gonna go down here. Blend mode. Ah. Let's open up our shader editor so we can actually use the alpha. Alpha into alpha. Okay, that's looking more like we want. And then use alpha hash <clears throat> so we can actually get shadows. We'll check that out later. Cool, so we're gonna use a curve to actually shape this little bad boy. Go back into edit mode, control R for loop cuts, do about five, just gonna scroll up, one, two, three, four, five, like that, go there, cool, and then we're gonna add a curve, so we can actually shape this bad boy, add a curve, we're gonna go path, rotate, 90, bring it up a bit, Get it down. Cool. Click on our leaf. Modifier. Add curve. And then the curve object will be this guy. Now it moves a bit. We're just going to drag it back. Sweet. Back onto our curve. I'm just dragging like this. Go back into the shade smooth so we don't see the bad curvature. Alright, so I'm gonna make a copy of this. Shift D, duplicate, apply the curve. Sweet. And let's set the origin point, object, set origin to geometry. Be a bit easier to manage. Now we can hide this one so long. Edge to hide. And just position it how you want. Let's 
Shift D to duplicate, rotate. Scale it down a bit. And now we're just putting this in position, duplicate it a few times until we have something resembling a plant. Duplicate again, rotate. something as such and if you want to edit more you can unhide this bad boy and actually just use this curve and then shape your plant how you want to That's if you wanted to do that, but we're just going to hide these guys for now. And then how to get it to look like this guy I have over here. I just added a plane, which I added a ground texture to it. And then I just modeled a quick pot plant. Now I see you getting this problem with these block shadows. Blend mode, hashed, shadow mode hashed and you'll be getting the proper shadows and if you want to do the soil we can just go mesh circle bring it down edit F to make it a solid face UV unwrap that face smart UV put this back to UV all right, add a texture to that, say new, image texture, open, there's our soil texture, and if you want to give that a little bit of normal detail, we're going to go here, shade editor, you can either make your own normal map, but you can also fake it, say RGB to black and white. And then add a bump. Make it full screen. Bump into the normal. This into height. Color. Put that like 2.3. Now you'll see you'll have a little bit of normal data to that as well. And to just lift it up a bit, edit, I for inset, and then bring it up a bit, and then I for inset again. Bring it up a little bit again. So if you wanted to make the pot plant, it's gonna go make a circle, bring it down. Edit mode, EZ, bring it down like that, ES, about such, EZ, bring it down, scale in S, F, close it up, now here on the top, ES, and then EZ, bring it down, Scale this down a bit so we can see what's going on, on the inside. Cool. Shade smooth. Turn on auto smooth. And add a color to it.
something like that. Maybe scale this down a bit. Up a bit. And there we go. Bring us all up a bit. And you just made a plant. Thank you for watching, guys.